you know, you know, if you get to net and extra through the hedge field in 90 minutes, went for us. Good. Um, I thought the wind played a big uh, part in the match for, in both halves for both teams. The first half, we, we wanted to score more goals. Um, we pinned Ren through in. I say pinned them in the wind. Pinned Ren through in. Their kicks weren't really going as long, and um, it was hard for them to get out. But when you are, when you've got the wind in your back, that you really need to take advantage. And you probably want to go in with a two goal lead at half time as opposed to one. Um, so we were a wee bit concerned about the second half because we knew that was going to happen to us or we thought that was going to happen to us so we kind of regrouped and we asked the girls to sit in a bit deeper in the second half and then when, the, when it was on to really go and break on through. I thought it worked, I thought we, we could have scored more but again that's just a testament to how good the girls have been and they're getting there, they're not just good football players, they're now becoming tactically aware as well and that's a big part of development so it's good to see. Okay. Is it pleasing to you as well that that's two games in three days, 12 goals, two clean sheets? Delighted. Um, I always have one to you and the girls and even Neil, but I prefer the clean sheets to, to scoring more goals because if you keep clean sheets you've got a chance of winning the game. Um, but to do that, like you say, in two, uh, two games in two days against a good opposition tonight, um, it speaks volumes of the girls and the work rate that they're putting in in the gym, the work that they put in in training. And they can't be any more professional and for their sake I really hope they go and win the league. We might not, but I think they deserve a reward for the, what they've done this season. It's also a testament to the girls that they uh, keep going and even get a goal today and injury time in the second half. Aye, and I think if you look we defended the whole game, or the whole second half sorry, and for Shannon to go and have the energy to go and break like that um, was brilliant. And, Again, Shannon, we call her Duracell because I think she runs on batteries, but it wasn't just Shannon, the whole team defended well and they kept going right to the end. And We would have preferred that they take the ball to the corner, but they've got more confidence in that, so they're more brave than we are. Thank you, Dave.